Welcome back to my YouPorn channel. Today, we're gonna do my pull day that built my back thickness and width over the years. This is one of my most highly requested videos, and by that I mean one person asked for it, which makes it my most highly requested video of all time because nobody, nobody else really, I don't have that many viewers on YouTube. There is a big distinction in how you should train, naturally versus enhanced. Enhanced lifters give amazing advice, don't get me wrong. A lot of them train a lot harder than a lot of natural lifters, and they make amazing gains and have amazing progress because they actually train properly. And that's because they use the same training principles that you apply as a natural. You need to progressively overload over time. Two, you need to prioritize intensity over junk volume. And three, what's number three? Blast trend. The first thing that you need to do as a natural that enhanced lifters do not need to do is be very particular about your exercise selection. Now, that means you need to get really strong in the gym. And to get really strong, you actually have to be particular with your programming. If you're enhanced, you can go into the gym, train extremely hard, do a shit ton of machine rows, cable rows, whatever it is you want. As long as you bring the intensity, you're gonna make gains, you're gonna get really strong, and the anabolics are just gonna make you blow up into a big back. But as a natural, if you do that, you're not going to progress as fast and as efficiently as you need to in order to get a big back. To have an elite back, you need to be very, very strong at certain lifts. And those certain lifts, that strength will carry over to other exercises. For example, if you are an elite deadlifter and you can pull five plates, six plates for reps with good form, then you are also automatically going to be able to row a lot of weight. And that is going to induce a lot of hypertrophy. Now, you don't have to do deadlifts at all. That's completely optional. It's just you need one heavy compound loading movement to start off your pull day. That can be barbell row, weighted pull up, or any heavy, heavy compound movement. Even rack pulls are fine. As long as you start off your pull day like that, so you can progress in strength and have that carry over to all your other exercises, then you're good. Now, I personally like to start off with barbell row. And then the way I structure my pull days is with two vertical and two horizontal row movements. Two of those horizontal movements is to target the upper back, your traps, your rear delts, and just your general upper back area, which is mainly your traps and your rear delts. And then the two vertical movements are for targeting your upper and lower lat. So I like to do wide grip lat pull downs or just regular lat pull downs combined with a lower lat focused single arm cable row where you're kind of bending over and squeezing the lat and keeping your elbows tucked so you can bias the lower lat as much as possible. Those four movements basically make up a pull day and you can split that up however you like throughout the week. So if you do upper lower or push pull legs, then you can do two vertical on one day, two horizontal on the other day, or alternate one horizontal, one vertical, one horizontal, one vertical on the, on the second day. And then if you do a bro split, you can just do all four in one go because you're just training back all at once. So. All you need to do is make sure that you include something that targets lats and something that targets upper back. Yeah, that's basically my pull day. I hope this helps. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Like and comment and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Really appreciate you guys. I hope I get better at making these. I hope this has been a fun video for you to watch and I hope you got a lot out of it, a lot of value. Let me know what you want to see next. Maybe a push day, chest and shoulder tips, arm tips. I've got all of them, man, because my physique used to be terrible.